Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Los Let Sports Network. We're live here in the Coliseum for tonight's varsity game against the Bismarck County Blue Devils. I'm Liam Bentz, alongside me, Seamus Hanlon. Seamus, how you doing? Doing very well, excited for this matchup. It's gonna be a tough matchup for Los Let, but I think they can come away with the win. Definitely. Crazies are quite loud tonight. Lion mascot making his appearance. All will now rise for the singing of the Hymdor Lady and the national anthem. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. About to bring you the starting lineups for this varsity game. Lions came off of a pretty dominant win from the Crisman Cardinals earlier this week. We're hoping to see that once more today. Lions coming away with that win. Lions' current record is two and one. Bismarck Henning's starting lineup. Number one, that's Peoples. Number two, Stanford. Number three, that's Ingram. And number four, Chaz Du Bois. And number 14, Kalemanek. Now the starting lineup for your loss at Lions. Lots of energy in the Coliseum tonight. Junior number 32, John Bronner. Number 12, senior Ian Whitehead. Number 22, senior Charles Prather. Number 11, Eamon Martin, also a senior. And finally, your captain for this season, number 10, William Fitzpatrick, a senior. This ball game is about to get underway. Charles Prather, he'll be facing off against number four, uh, Du Bois, for the tip off. There's the whistle and the ball. Charles Prather got his hands on the ball, but the Blue Devils will recover it. 
Number one got Ian Whitehead off his feet there. That was a close call. Almost had an opportunity to drive in. So number three, Ingram over to Stanford at the top. Stanford, he'll find Peoples at the wing. Guarded by Ian Whitehead. He'll drive into the elbow up top. Good move from Peoples there. He'll put the first points of the game up on the board. It's two for him. John Brunner with the ball now. Pass the 10 second line. His pass intercepted by Peoples. Ingram will take that up and he'll put that up for two. Blue Devils off to a quick start. Lost Lot's going to need to get some points on the board, get the momentum going. Blue Devils varsity coming out with a full court press. As we saw earlier tonight in that JV game, the JV Blue Devils also played a full court press the entire game, I believe. And a clarification on that call near the end of the game on um, Marco Cruz. He um, pushed number five, I believe it was, in the back. But he wasn't playing for the ball, so that was not a technical. It was just called an intentional foul, so the Blue Devils get two shots and the ball out of bounds. Eamon Martin came away with a steal there. He finds Whitehead in the corner, back to Eamon Martin. He'll take the sh three in and out off the rim. Blue Devils come down with the rebound. Stanford will take a little bit of a slip there. That's Kalemanik. He'll put two on the board. Blue Devils off to a quick lead, 6-0. Six, six minutes, 38 seconds left in this first quarter. That timeout will be called by the Lions. It'll be a 30 second timeout. Lay number 15 will be coming in for the Blue Devils. Lions defense needs to slow down here, especially under the pressure of that full court press. They need to look for the open man, especially one of their double teamed. Inevitably one of the lines will be open. You need to just look for that man and play the ball. Blue Devils will take the court. Number 15 came in for Stanford. It's a lay taking the court. Eamon Martin will inbound it for La Salette. He'll give it to the captain, William Fitzpatrick. He'll give it to John Bronner. John Bronner passes the 10-second line. Charles Prather with it across the court to Eamon Martin. Eamon Martin at the top of the arc. He'll dribble around with it a little bit. He'll get fouled by Lay, number 15. Lay will come out of the game and Stanford will come back in. Eamon Martin to William Fitzpatrick. He's gonna call the play. His pass, Charles Prather, just high. Peoples will come away with that and he'll bring it down the court. Pass the 10 second line. Three down in the corner. He'll give it out to Stanford. Shot no good. Both uh, Ian Whitehead and William Fitzpatrick went up for that rebound. Both of them got their hands on it, so neither one of them was able to really put a grip on the ball. So it'll come off of them. 14 in the corner. Num uh, excuse me, that was Kalemnik. He put up that three. It was no good. Eamon Martin taking it with a quick breakdown. He'll come, he'll come down the middle lane there for that layup and the Blue Devils will trap the ball so it'll be a jump ball. It will remain the Lions ball underneath the hoop. Charles Prather will put that up for two. Good pass, good eyes by one Patrick to see him run down low to the corner. Peoples with it now. Down in the paint, he'll dribble out. He'll give it to Stanford. Lions defense needs to be careful there. Ingram and Kalemanik were both open out in the corner for that first bit of their possession. Lions defense really needs to keep those their eyes up, make sure those um, wings do not get the ball and have that open three. Whitehead out to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick thought about going cross court to Braun Bronner. John Bronner, excuse me. Eamon Martin double teamed in the corner. One of the Lions players is open. It's John Bronner in the corner. Eamon can't seem to find him. Charles Prather out to Eamon. Fitzpatrick with it now. Five minutes left in this first quarter. Scores two to six. Ian Wyatt's pass intercepted by Kalemnik. He'll give it to Ingram, who will take a three and he'll knock that down. 
Lions need to see in that last play, John Bronner was in the corner open for a while. They didn't see him. They need to keep their eyes open, looking around the whole court. John Bronner with the ball. He'll give it to William Fitzpatrick and swing it down to Eamon Martin. John Bronner again open, they'll find him this time, but Stanford will get there. William Fitzpatrick, he'll give it down to Eamon Martin, he'll take a three. His shot no good, Ian White will put that rebound up for two. Nice shot by Ian Whitehead, keeping his eyes up off that rebound. He'll come up and finish Eamon Martin's missed three. Kalemnik with it now, he drives in, kicks it back out. Number four, Du Bois, he had it there. Came in and brought it back out. Stanford, Lions offense off to a bit of a slow start, but they seem to be finding their momentum. Scores now four to nine. Kalemnik in the corner, brings it back up to uh, Ingram. Stanford, passes it to Ingram. He'll take the deep three, he'll bank that one in. Ingram is gonna be one to watch this whole game. We've already seen him make two early threes. Lasla is gonna have to adjust to that. William Fitzpatrick, down in the corner. He'll give it to John Bronner, and Eamon Martin. John Bronner, almost got, that pass almost intercepted. Eamon Martin in the corner now, guarded by two of the Blue Devils. Charles Prather was open down in the corner. They find him, he takes a three. That shot off the uh, rim. He'll get his own rebound. John Bronner with it now, swinging around from Amen into Fitz. Patrick. Good job He'll by go. Charles Prather to follow his shot to the hoop. Come down with his own rebound. Amen Martin sets up for the deep three. He'll take it off the rim. Whitehead comes down with that rebound and he'll go back up. That ball will bounce around in the rim and it'll fall. Ian Whitehead with four points tonight. Four of the team six. He's doing a good job of getting those rebounds and coming up for the finish. That was Du Bois. He'll knock down a three himself. Score now six to 15. John Bronner's pass was intercepted by Ingram. He'll put that up for two. Already in the first quarter, Blue Devils are a deep, or a threat for the threes. They need to lock down the outside. Timeout was called by head coach for the Lions, Rustio. Score six to 17. Just over two minutes of play in this first quarter. There's the first horn off of this timeout. Lancelot needs to come out with some fire after this timeout. They're down by 11 points. Inbound from the Lions will slip through Charles Prather's hands. Unlucky there, it'll be the Blue Devils ball. Marco Cruz is going to come in for William Fitzpatrick. Peoples is going to give it to Thomas. Thomas. He'll dribble out. Him and Peoples are Thomas and Peoples are going to pass around with each other. Thomas takes a three. He's going to knock that one down. Blue Devils definitely a major threat to the three ball here. Team has four threes tonight of their 20 points. Ryland Tall came in the game, and so did Elijah Hall for John Bronner and Ian Whitehead. Eamon Martin, he's going to swing it across to Ryland Tall. He's double guarded. He'll get to give it to Charles Prather. He'll put that up. His shot, no good. Eamon Martin will come down with recovery and he'll put that up for two. 
That'll be an and one. He'll go to the paint for, he'll go to the line to hopefully get his extra point. He was fouled by number five, Thomas. Let me get set, Eamon Martin gets set for his and one shot. That shot is good. That puts the score nine to 20 now. Lions need to keep the defense tight. Rallentall playing up on number 15, Lay. Ingram bringing it back up to the top. He leads the Blue Devils in points tonight. Number one, Peoples. He'll get Marco Cruz off his feet, but he'll be called for the travel, so it'll be the Lions ball. William Fitzpatrick will come back in the game for Marco Cruz. About one minute left in this first quarter. Eamon Martin will give it to Fitzpatrick. Back to Eamon Martin. Eamon Martin making his way down the court under defensive pressure. He'll look to go around number four, Dubois, and he'll be fouled with a hold. The refs thought there was a bit of trouble with the game clock, but there wasn't. Eamon Martin with it on the close sideline will be inbounding for the Lions. Stanford will come in the game for Peoples. That'll be a Blue Devil substitution. William Fitzpatrick guarded heavily by Ingram. He's gonna try and dribble around him. Charles Prather, he'll flash up high. Eamon Martin, he'll give it to Ryland Tall. Charles Prather almost lost it. He will cover his dribble. That pass to Ryland, intended for Ryland Tall will be tipped by Stanford. 35 seconds left in this first quarter of play. Score still 9 to 20. Lions looking to put some points up on the board here before the end of this first quarter. Fitzpatrick with it. Just over 30 seconds left. He'll cross Ingram over. He'll be at the elbow looking for a shot. Referee will call him for the travel. Lost They will be putting on a full, port, full court press. Du Bois with that. He'll pass it out to Ingram. Back to the boys. His pass will go out. That'll be a turnover. Ball there came off of one of the Blue Devils' feet. Ian Whitehead in the game for Elijah Hall. 13 seconds left in this first quarter. Lions seem to be adjusting. Laszlo keep possession of the ball. That was tipped by number 15, Lay. Four seconds left in this quarter. We'll see if Laszlo can get any sort of last minute shout out. Charles Prather pulls up from the three under defensive pressure, but he won't find the hoop. That'll bring this first quarter of play to a close. Scoring nine to 20, Lions trail by 11. Blue Devils came out of this game with some aggressive offense, putting them in the lead early here in this game. Lions defense seems to be adjusting though. The Blue Devils do keep finding a guy open on the, uh, excuse me, around the arc. We saw there just a couple possessions ago, the Blue Devils had two players open, one in each corner, but they did not pass it out. It's definitely a threat considering the amount of threes that the Blue Devils have been putting on the board. They still have four threes, 12 of their 20 points. Ian Whitehead currently leads the Lions with four points. And Ingram, number three for the Blue Devils, he leads his team with 10.
Lions and Blue Devils take the court once more for the start of the second quarter. Blue Devils will start with the ball this quarter. Stanford with the ball. Guarded by William Fitzpatrick. He'll give it to Peoples. Back to Stanford. Stanford still with the ball. Ian Whitehead needed to watch Kalemnik there. He's peeking down here at the block. Whitehead saw him, staying in front of him. Ingram with it up top. Stanford at the wing. He'll drive under. Ingram will find Peoples. Pump fake that three. Looks for the baseline drive, but Ian Whitehead cut that off quickly. That'll be a three second paint violation there on number five of the Blue Devils, I believe. Resulting in a turnover in the Lions ball. Saw a couple of those calls in the JV game and quite a few at Crisman earlier this week. Blue Devils keeping their full court press out. Valentaz cross court past it. William Fitzpatrick will be intercepted. Peoples with it in the corner. He'll take the three. It'll be long, no good. Eamon Martin comes down with that rebound and he'll be taking it up the court quickly. He'll go up and off the glass. And one for Eamon Martin. That's his second trip to the line and second opp opportunity for an and one. John Brunner will come in for Ryland Tall. And Thomas will come out for the Blue Devils and Du Bois will come back in. Eamon Martin sets up for his attempted three point play here. And it will fall. Nice job by Eamon Martin. Seeing the opportunity to drive in and draw that foul. Long pass to the corner over to Ingram. He'll pump fake. Out to Stanford. Peoples with it. Into the elbow. Down low to Peoples, but that ball will be tipped into Eamon Martin's hands from Ian Whitehead. Good job, Ian Whitehead, keeping his hands up on defense. Ian Whitehead with it in the corner. Looks for the baseline drive, but he'll be double teamed. Charles Prather with it. Drives to the center. Out to John Bronner for the catch and shoot three. No good. Peoples with it, taking it quickly to the hoop. He'll find two. Eamon Martin with the ball now. He'll be guarded by two of the Blue Devils. He'll give it to Fitzpatrick and to John Bronner. Ian Whitehead down in the corner. He'll throw it across the court to Eamon Martin. He'll pump fake a three. Well, and Fitzpatrick at the top of the arc. He'll give it to Ian Whitehead across to William Fitzpatrick. That pass will go over the halfway line. That'll be a over and back. William Fitzpatrick wasn't able to keep his hands on the ball there. Unlucky play there for the Lions. Just under six minutes here in the second quarter. Lions trail by 10. Du Bois will hand it off to Ingram. Ingram to Peoples. Peoples to the corner to Kalemnik. Kalemnik will be called for the double dribble. Elijah Hall coming into the ball game for Ian Whitehead. John Bronner. He's going to pass it to Eamon Martin and to Marco Cruz. Marco Cruz across the court to John Bronner. He'll take a pass to 10 second line. He'll be guarded by two of the Blue Devils. They'll take that. Ingram will come away with that steal off that double team on John Bronner. Really curious to see how long the Blue Devils decide to keep this full court press up. It does definitely take, uh, excuse me, it definitely taxes their players more. And John Brother double teamed once again. Ingram will find another two. Lions really struggling with this Blue Devils full court press. Elijah Hall with it down low, baseline drive, one hand shot. Off the rim, no good. Marco Cruz came down with that rebound. He'll be blocked in his attempt to go back up. Peoples kicks it out to Ingram. He'll take the three off the back of the rim. Eamon Martin with the ball now. 
And Lamar's gonna try and go through to the Blue Devils. That'll be a foul on, I believe, three, Ingram of the Blue Devils. William Fitzpatrick coming in for John Rahner. Coach Rustio just telling the team what we've been seeing here. As long as they're double teaming one, uh, the, one of the Lions players, we're bound to have someone open. It'll be a, a four to three down low by the hoop. Lions need to find that open player, keep the ball moving, especially under the pressure of this full court press. As Soon as one of the players, the Lions players gets trapped, it's very difficult for us to get the ball back outside. Cross court pass to Marco Cruz. He'll jump stop in, take a mid range jumper. Charles Prather comes down with that rebound. He'll come up, no good. Eamon Martin will go up. Looks like he got fouled, but nothing was called. William Fitzpatrick there tried to draw the charge, but nothing was called. Shot doesn't fall either. Marco Cruz down on the corner. He'll give it to Charles Prather at the post. He'll be fouled, he'll go to the line for two. That'll be a foul on Ingram. Charles Prather will get set for his first shot. First shot, no good off the back of the rim. Blue Devils will make a substitution. Dubois will come out. Thomas will come in. Charles Prather sets up for his second shot. His second shot will fall. Let's hope this gives the Lions offense the momentum they need to put some points on the board here. Once again, Ingram open in that corner. No good with that three attempt, luckily, but Ingram will find a steal and put an easy two up. Lions weren't paying attention to where he was. Eamon hey. Martin will find Elijah Hall down in the corner. He'll give it to Charles Prather at the post. He'll put that up. That'll miss the hoop. Blue Devils the other way now. That'll be Peoples. That'll be a foul on Charles Prather. Well, I thought maybe Peoples traveled. I guess, I guess he didn't. People's first shot is in. And Ian Whitehead will come into the game for the Lions, subbing out Elijah Hall. Score in this game so far, 13 to 29, Blue Devils leading. Three minutes left in this first half of play. Second shot falls. Marco Cruz almost fumble that pass, and he'll hit that away. That'll be out of bounds on Lay down at the end of the court. Marco Cruz will do the inbounding for La Salette. He'll give it to Ian Whitehead at the top of the arc. Aaron Mark, Marco Cruz. His pass to Charles Prater down low will be intercepted by Peoples. Peoples will take it out. He'll go across the court to Lay, who will give it to Stanford. Marco Cruz will pick that ball up. He'll bring that down the court. He'll trip and he'll slip and fall. Good job by Marco Cruz to get those Blue Devil players off their feet. If he hadn't slipped there, he would have found an easy two points for the Lions. Lions trailing by 17. Ingram leading the Blue Devils with, I believe, 16 of their 30 points. He's having a good game tonight. Lions leaving the players on the wing open. There's Kalemnik. Whitehead came up on him quick enough to not allow that three. Lay over to Stanford. Peoples. Moving the ball around. Long pass. Attempted to get to Kalemnik, but 
If he had touched that, it would have been an over and back call, so he just lets it roll out of bounds. Lost lot needs to find their rhythm late in the second quarter. They need to gain momentum and keep that momentum going through halftime. Warren Fitzpatrick, he'll give it down in the corner to Eamon Martin. His pass intercepted. And that William Fitzpatrick will intercept the pass. Charles Prather looks like he took a hit to the face. That'll stay lost let ball. Good defensive stop there by William Fitzpatrick, excuse me, to prevent that two points for the Blue Devils. The ball will go off one of the Blue Devils and will remain Lions ball. One minute, 44 seconds left in this first half of play. Lions still trailing by 17. Cross court pass to Marco Cruz, down to Charles Prather at three. He'll take the three. Off the back of the rim, no good, but Eamon Martin comes down with the rebound. He'll come in for a floater. In and out off the rim. Ian Whitehead saves that from going out of bounds. Fitzpatrick with it in the corner. He's getting double teamed now. He looks to find the open person. Cross court pass to Eamon Martin. Whitehead in the corner. Cross court pass to Fitzpatrick almost over his head. Fitzpatrick to Charles at the elbow. Eamon Martin for three. No good. Lions seem to be finding shots, but they can't. They don't seem to be going in. Ian Whitehead there, he'll put up another two points for the Lions. Good pass from Charles Prather to see that he was open there. Charles Prather would have had quite a difficult time trying to put that shot up himself. Good distribution. Forty-one seconds. Stanford, he'll take three. It'll fall. Stanford's first points of the night. Score 15-33, ball moving quickly up the court for the Lions. Ian Whitehead with it to Eamon Martin. Back over to Marco Cruz quickly. William Fitzpatrick, good ball movement from the Lions. Charles Prather found a lane in the middle, but he will be blocked all ball, no foul. Stanford will put up another two points for the Blue Devils. Charles Prather in the corner, he'll put up three. Off the rim, no good. That'll bring this first half of play to a close. Score here in the Coliseum. Los at Lions 15, Bismarck Henning Blue Devils 35. Los at Lions seem to be having quite a bit of trouble getting the ball to the hoop, but they have been adjusting as we saw just a couple possessions ago. Nice ball movement from the Lions, able to move the ball around, just unlucky. Those shots have not been falling. They've been finding the shots, but Ball does not seem to find its way in, but nine minutes, 46 seconds left in this halftime. I'm Liam Benz with me, Seamus Hanlon, and we'll be right back.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Coliseum. We apologize for the technical difficulties there. Our soundboard lost power. But we are back here in the Coliseum. Scores currently 19 to 37, Lions trailing. Lions have come out definitely a lot stronger than they were playing here in this first half. Lions are gonna be called for 10 seconds without passing the half court line. Zoltin in a turnover. Stanford with the ball, cut up by John Bronner. He's gonna dribble with it. He's gonna give it to Peoples. Peoples will give it right back to Stanford. Stanford looking for a pass to find Peoples. He's gonna buy Marco Cruz. Peoples is gonna drive into the hoop. He'll swing it out to Ingram. Ingram will take the three. He'll knock that one down. That's Ingram's third three of the night. Lions need to be careful watching him on the outside. He also leads the Blue Devils in points. Lions now trailing by 21. Bad pass there from Charles Prather, resulting in a turnover. Elijah Hall almost got a steal off of it though. Ball's down into Peoples. Peoples will put it up for two. Eamon Martin will inbound into John Warner. He'll, he'll give it a pass across the court to Marco Cruz and Charles Perry back to John Bronner. Elijah Hall will take a three. He'll knock that one down. Good way to get the momentum going. Lions now trail by 20. Marco Cruz will be called for the foul. It'll be a hand check. Ian Whitehead will come into the game for Charles Prather. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in this third quarter, just about. Peoples at the top. Ingram pulls up for another three. No good off the back of the rim there. Lions really need to play up on Ingram, especially when he's outside the arc. He's definitely a major threat there. Whitehead with it in the corner into Elijah Hall. He'll go up for two. No good, but he'll look to get his own rebound. Stanford bringing it down the court to Peoples in the corner. Pump fakes, but he will be called for the travel. Eamon Martin will give it to Marco Cruz and John Bonner across court to Marco Cruz. Elijah Hall at the top of the arc. He'll throw it down to Ian Whitehead. He tried to hit that off of the Blue Devils' legs, but it'll end up bouncing off of him himself. Stanford taking it up the court for the Blue Devils. Kalemnik in the corner there. An oop to Ingram, no good. Peoples, after that the wing, he'll take a three off the front of the rim, no good. It'll come off of number four, Dubois, and it'll be the Lions ball. John Bronner. He'll be guarded by two of the Blue Devils. He'll give it to Eamon Martin. They need to get it past the 10-second line, which they do. Eamon Martin will do some dribbling of his own. He'll hand it off to John Bronner. Eamon Martin down in the corner. Heavily guarded by two of the Blue Devils. He'll give it a cross-court pass to John Bronner. That'll go right through his hands. Lost Lutt needs to make sure they're catching the balls. We've seen a couple times going out of bounds. Those are crucial turnovers. Lions still trailing by 20. Two minutes, 50 seconds down to Peoples. Good luck. Elijah Hall will go up to block Peoples, but Peoples saw that coming, so he didn't come up to take the shot. Drawing the foul for the Blue Devils. It'll be their ball underneath the hoop. 
Rylan Tall coming for Marco Cruz and Sean Holmes for Ian Whitehead. Good block by Sean Holman. Eamon Martin will go up. No good. <clears throat> Thought he got pushed there in the back. But no fouls called. Elijah Hall, though, he'll get the rebound off of Sean Holman. Sean Holman's uh, tipped and pass. And he'll be going to the line for two shots. Elijah Hall's first shot, no good. He'll get set for his second shot. Second shot, also no good. John Runner almost came down with the rebound. But the Blue Devils in the end will come away with it. Up top and then back down low to Peoples. Blue Devils with lots of ball movement here. Finding it relatively easy to find their way inside the Lions paint. Over to Lay for three. Off the rim, no good. Ball will come off one of the Blue Devils, so it'll be Lions ball. Lions moving the ball. Still trying to move Blue, uh, Blue Devils full court press. They've kept it out the whole game. Pass tips by number four, Du Bois, out of bounds. Lines with it on the far sideline. Eamon Martin will find Rylan Tall off the inbound. Rylan will give it right back to Eamon. He'll give it to John Broder. John Broder guarded by Peoples. Rylan Tall will drive, drive, drive down for a jump shot, no good. Peoples. Peoples, he'll take a jump shot, he'll put that down. Lions bringing the ball up the court. He'll get it past the 10 second line, that's Eamon Martin with it. He'll drive down low, he'll put that up for the reverse layup and he'll be fouled. Eamon Martin setting up on the free throw line for his attempt to make up those points. Eamon Martin's first shot's good. Second shot is good as well. Score now after those free throws, 24-44. Lions trailing by 20. Charles Prather will come into the game for Eamon Martin. Lay with it. Thought about taking that three. Back to Stanford. Stanford will pull up from deep. No good. Lay will look to throw it off of Sean Homer, and Sean's home, Sean Homer's foot will be on the line, so that will be a successful attempt to bounce it off of him. It will remain the Blue Devils ball. Stanford finds Lay. Lay to Peoples. One minute left in this third quarter. Stanford out at the three, he'll take it, no good. Sean Holman comes down with that rebound. Kick it out to Charles Prather. John Bronner now taking it up the court. He'll be double teamed. The pass is seemingly no one. But Thomas, in an attempt to grab it up, will tip it out of bounds. Lucky break for the Lions to be able to keep that ball. Number 14, Kalemanek coming in for Thomas. 43 seconds. Take 
Lions looking for a way to the basket. Charles Prather with a lob pass, looking for Sean Holman. Over his head though, Sean Holman was not able to come down with it. Stanford will pass the ball across the court to Peoples. He's guarded by Charles Prather. He'll give it a lay in the corner and lay back to Peoples. Stanford with it now at the top. He'll give it to Kolumnik. He tried to pass that to, to Boys. That'll go off the loss of that player. Boys with it in a corner over to Kolumnik. Stanford, two peoples, he'll take the three, no good. Almost had the buzzer beater there. Coming into this fourth quarter of play, Lions still trailing by 20 points. Lions defense not really finding a way to put a stop to the three ball. Ingram having a really good game tonight, especially outside the arc, though he has had quite a lot of drives. Laszlo is going to need to shut down defense this fourth quarter, and their offense is going to have to be buzzing. First horn off of that timeout coming out into this fourth quarter. <coughs> Score here in the Coliseum, Lions 24, Bismarck Henning Blue Devils 44. It will be the Lions ball to start this fourth quarter. Looks like it'll actually be the blue devil's ball. Lions defense is gonna need to play really tight here. Blue devils will be called for the travel. Giving Lions an opportunity to put some points on the board here at the beginning of this fourth quarter. Bismarck keeping up their full court press though. Eamon Martin is looking for Ryan Tall, which he finds. Ryan Tall trying to go to Charles Prather. But a Blue Devil will tip that out. It will remain lost Lutz ball. Last one needs to be careful with those passes. The Blue Devils are really good at intercepting them and tipping them. John Brunner, he's gonna give it to Ryland Tall. Charles Prather across the court. Try to go to Eamon Martin, but the Blue Devils will tip that. Ryland Tall looking to set his feet there to draw that charge. He won't be able to pull it off though. He'll be called for the block. Sending Ingram to the line. Ingram's first shot is good. He'll get set for his second shot. That is also good. Elijah Hall will give it to Eamon Martin. To Ryland Tall. Back to Eamon Martin. Not just past the 10 second line. Charles Prather, Ryland, Ryland Tall thought about shooting. Eamon Martin will take the three. He'll knock that down. That's what we need. Eamon Martin needs to keep hitting those threes. Eamon Martin will come down with the rebound with a missed shot from the boys. 
Peoples will poke at the ball. Now Amish dribble and he'll tip it out of bounds. Substitutions for the Lions. Marco Cruz coming in for Ryland Tall. Score 27-46. John Bronner with the ball guarded by Ingram. He'll give it to Marco Cruz. Elijah Hall down to Charles Prather. Elijah Hall will put that up, no good. Charles Prather will come down with his rebound. He'll put that up for two. And also good. Lions are slowly decreasing the lead, the score of this game. Score 46-29. Clemnick got Eamon Martin off his feet there. Luckily Elijah Hall was there for help. That could have been bad. Six minutes left in this fourth and final quarter. Peoples loses his dribble. He'll kick it back out, but Charles Prather will tip it. Ingram will keep the ball for the Blue Devils, though. Stanford has it at the top. Kalemnik. Elijah Hall with a tip and interception. He'll attempt to go up. He'll be fouled on his way up, and he'll be heading to the line for two. Lions seem to be getting their offense rolling here, which is definitely what they need. Two shots here for Elijah Hall after that foul. First shot off the back rim, no good. Charles Prather playing back in the Lions territory for that early defense. Don't want them getting the, excuse me, the Blue Devils coming away with a quick break off of this rebound. Elijah Hall's second shot is in. Lions slowly decreasing this lead, which is exactly what we need to see here. 30 to 46. Peoples to Ingram. He'll take another three. He'll knock that one down. Ingram putting up points all night for the Blue Devils. Definitely their star player for tonight. Marco Cruz with a three himself in response. In and out off the rim. Elijah Hall will get his hands on that, but unable to come down with the rebound. John, John. Bronner with a good play to tip that. He'll give it to Charles Prather. He'll put that up for two. Charles Prather getting fancy there. Went up for the reverse layup because he didn't have enough time to turn around. That ball went in. Lions need to watch on defense. Man on the outside, there he is, Stanford. He'll take the three and knock that one in as well. Looks like the Lions will be called for a travel. Lions back to trailing by 20. So they still have plenty of time. Ingram to Lay. He'll kick it back out to Ingram. He'll put up another three. No good. Eamon Martin will get that rebound. He finds a fast break to the center. He'll go up for the shot, but it'll be no good, but he... Looks like he won't be fouled on his way up. Looks like one of the Blue Devils will draw a charge as Eamon drove in. Turnover. Thirty-two to fifty-two here in the Coliseum. Ingram and Lay passing. Lay will go down to Du Bois. He'll, his shot no good. John Bronner will come with the rebound. Marco Cruz going up the court, John Barnard didn't see him. Eamon Martin, the ball at the top of the arc. John Barnard will take a deep three. That is good. John Barnard with an impressive shot there. He pulled up from at least three feet outside the arc.
Lions offense definitely needs to start taking those shots. If they have it, they need to take it here if they want to decrease this lead and hope to come back here in this fourth quarter with just under four minutes of play left. Blue Devils offense doing a really good job finding the man open on the wing all night tonight. Finding lots of threes. Lions need to be quick with their zone defense to push up on that man out on the wings and in the corners. Lost going to take the court. Blue Devils. Peoples with it. Finds it. Thomas on the three all by himself. His shot no good. Elijah Hall lost his ball. It'll be a lost let's ball. It was kicked by the Blue Devil. One of the Blue Devils players. Charles Prather is going to pass it across the court to Marco Cruz. To Eamon Martin up top. John Bronner with a catch and shoot deep three. That almost went in, not quite. Marco Cruz get that rebound. His attempt, no good. Peoples will dribble in. He'll put that up for two. Peoples there found his way around John Bronner. No help to John Bronner. He was all alone there, and Peoples had a definite size advantage to get over him. Lasslet swinging the ball. Eamon Martin with it. John Browner calling for the ball. He wants a shot. Eamon Martin will take it himself and put that in for two. Good job by Eamon Martin making the play there. Beebles thought about that, but he won't take it. He'll give it to Lay. He'll give it off to Ingram. It's going to be a foul on Marker Cruz, a push as Ingram went to take that shot. Hey, Number 22, Ethan du Dubois will come in for Ingram. Hey. Ian Whitehead will come in for Marker Cruz for the Lions. Two minutes, 34 seconds left in this game. Peoples, he's gonna drive in, he's gonna hit it out to Ethan Dubois. He'll like give it right back to Peoples. Peoples is double guarded. Peoples try to draw a foul. Didn't work. John Bronner. It'll be a pushing foul on, on John Bronner. Wallace is gonna come in for Peoples. Wallace with it in. It's a close sideline. He's double teamed by John Bronner and Eamon Martin, but he'll get the pass off to Lay. Over to Thomas. Thomas to Du Bois. He'll drive in, kick it out to his brother, I believe, Du Bois as well. He'll knock down a three. Eamon Martin past the 10 second line. He'll give it to Ian Whitehead. And John Bronner, he'll pump fake, he'll drive in, he'll take a floater, to knock that down. <laughs> Blue Devils call a 30 second timeout for a sub, but they won't stay on the court, they'll just ask to put the sub in. One minute, 30 seconds left in this game, 39-57. Number 22, Du Bois with it. 
to lay. Blue Devils looking to just kill the clock here. Bring this ball game to a close. So let's pray they almost came in with that steal. Elijah Hall is going to save the ball from going out, but the Blue Devils player is going to get, re is going to get possession. Eamon Martin in an attempt to pick that ball up off the floor. He'll roll it just over the line. It'll stay Blue Devils ball. Thomas with the ball. He'll give it to Du Bois. He'll kick it out to Rice. Rice will take a three. That shot, no good. Elijah Hall will come down with it. He'll hand it off to Eamon Martin. 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter. John Bronner will take a three. That's going to be knocked out. Blue Devils are just going to bleed the last 15 or so seconds out. The boy's going to take a three. That also no good. Eight seconds left. John Bronner is going to take another three. That's going to be good. John Bronner really turned it on in the last couple seconds of the game. Way to finish strong. John Bronner will end the game with a three for the Lions. We needed, Lion. that, we needed that just a little bit earlier. Lions, unfortunately, will not come away with the win tonight. It was a well-fought game by both teams. Blue Devils had that early lead here in the game, giving them that advantage. Final score here in the Coliseum, Lions 45, Blue Devils 57. Good game from both teams. We also have JV and varsity games tomorrow. They are both away games at 6 and 7.30. Hope you'll join us for those tomorrow as well. But thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Liam Benz. With me, Seamus Hanlon, and we hope to see you tomorrow.